The dream is finally over. Morocco are finally out of the World Cup. What an incredible run. I think the second Arab nation only after Turkey to make it as far as the semi-finals in a World Cup. The first African nation ever to get as far as a World Cup uh, semi-final as well. So incredible performance by Morocco um, just in terms of those measures, but also a great performance on the pitch. It was 2-0 on the final scoreline, but this game was actually pretty, pretty close. <laughs> They did not finish their chances. I mean, half decent finishing would have helped them at least have a goal in the game and then the game changes. Once you have something on the scoreboard, it just changes the intensity. But I think the first blow for them came when they conceded in the fifth minute. And a shoddy one to concede at that, to be very honest. It wasn't really a well-worked, sublime, crystalline finish or things like that. It was, I mean, the finish was yeah, the, good, but... The yeah. finish was good, but again, <laughs> again, it wasn't a banger that went in. It, yeah. He made the smart choice of lowering it down rather than just trying to make contact and maybe the volley flies over. Yeah, and also when you think about like the chance came from like a deflection from right. a save and stuff. Exactly. So it's not like it wasn't a chance that was created by France per se. Oh. And neither was the second, which is again a major deflection that led to a tap in uh, for, for Thuram, which you're, you're right in that sense where it's like France were not the best team. In fact, if you look at it, France had less possession throughout the game. Oh. Morocco had like more than 60% possession and they have averaged throughout the tournament like around 35% possession across the tournament, which is... Oh, it very just, different. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know whether it was like pr part of France's strategy is like, oh, Morocco does well when they don't have the ball. So let's just give them the ball and see what we do. <laughs> um, uh, but I mean, nonetheless, they, they got the job done, right? That's that's what... That's Ultimately, what that's do. what yeah. uh, But what about this France performance? Like... I know you're you're rooting for France in in the final. What about this France performance um, makes you think that they will win or or they won't win uh, in that final? It it makes me all the more worried. I think the amount of chances that they conceded yesterday, a better team would have definitely punished them, and that's what worries me about France right now. Where in the semi final, it did seem like they had a lot more of the overconfidence stuff brewing in um, which resulted in giving away so many chances, lesser possession. Are France going to do well in the final? They should, but if this is the same game that they're going to play on Sunday, I don't expect them to win. Like, I really need them to buckle up, just boots on the ground, heads down, just play with your heart out, don't think about you being world champion, just play and play it as an equal. Play it as an equal game where you have to realize both teams have that impetus to win the final. Argentina, you could probably say, have more reasons purely because Messi and this could be his crowning glory moment where he's also said that he's retiring. I really want to see a end-to-end -end game, if if not anything else. An end-to-end -end game, some smart play, some good decision-making and overall an interesting football final, not some tame drab game which drags on till the 120th minute and then you go down to penalties. I don't want to see penalties to be very honest. Well, that's the interesting part about, that's the in interesting part about this game, right? Like despite the apparent chances that France give, this is their first clean sheet of the entire right. tournament, which is... Um, which is surprising when you think that these are the favorites to go on and win. Uh, and we've discussed this even on the England game, that they look very susceptible uh, on the defensive end of things. Even in this game, Morocco, through the wide spaces, really caused a lot of problems for France. Um, I guess the one positive that they can take is like Argentina kind of don't have that width in their attack. I mean, maybe if he chooses to start uh, Di Maria out wide, uh, you know, then maybe McAllister is a good player. He can play out wide as well. Then maybe you're talking about uh, Argentina having some um, chances in there. But I guess that's the one positive that France can look at is that their weakness is their fullbacks, um, defensively at least. And Argentina can't, don't really have the game that actually targets those fullbacks. But in the Argentina-Croatia game, we said that Scaloni as a manager has shown excellent tactical nows. 
So maybe he does something to actually exploit that weakness in, in France's defense. What worked for me or what didn't work for, for me in terms of France was that their attack just did not click in this game. Morocco defended really well. Like we said, both the chances that they had came off of deflections. I mean, hard luck, you would say. Also a little bit of right place, right time. Um, Mbappe was quiet for the most part, although he did come up with some magic for that for that second goal he won't get the assist but he deserved to get the assist for how that chance uh, came came about so that's probably still going to be a sticking point Griezmann again just an incredible performance in in France in that like hybrid midfield slash attacking midfield sort of role that he's playing um, and uh, France's midfield is still really good too many maybe not had the best game today Rabio out with an illness should be back for the finals uh, and that midfield has looked pretty pretty solid in that in that sense um and uh, yeah france still have a very strong and i think that's where france trump argentina is outside of messi there are not many people in that argentina team who can create magic out of nothing whereas this france team has I'm not a going lot to of say players. anything about that i'm not going to say anything about that <laughs> no but uh, that's yeah. the thing in, in france they have a lot of players who can do that like across across that 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 team right uh which is what i think is is the edge that france need they just need to make sure that they um keep argentina quiet in those earlier minutes um who do you think is going to win this <laughs> <laughs> we both are supporting different teams so yes, yes. we'll just go with those i i'll go with that and uh, i'm i'm waiting to see how argentina set up to counter Mbappe and Griezmann while I'm also waiting to see how uh, France, sorry, I was going to say Arsenal, but <laughs> France set up their structure so that they can negate Messi, Alvarez and to an extent, maybe even Depaul, Enzo Fernandez. It's all of these players that have shown up at different games and that's really changed results for both teams. So it has to be a very smart move and something out of the ordinary that might result in a goal yeah i'm I, really stoked to see what the first goal will be exactly and that's that's where i consider this it, this match again not to i'm not saying fans don't have it but this almost feels like uh, a, an argentina team that's like driven by passion driven by emotion to you know win their world cup after 36 years win messi his first world cup ever versus a france team that for the most part is very just it's just a very well drilled sound very not necessarily robotic but just a very very by the number sort of france side you know we haven't seen the kind of flare ups or the kind of emotional outbursts in france as as we have seen in argentina it's it's clear to see let me put it this way it's clear to see the hunger that argentina has for this world cup versus france who who is still really happy to be there but you don't see quite that drive and i wonder if that I feel like that's a double-edged sword where that can uh, very easily make you the favorites and get you that winning goal, but that can also lead to a lot of errors and, you know, you, yeah, you can lose the plot very easily in that situation as well. So that, that is going to be a very interesting contest to see whether France are able to rile this Argentina team up, which the Netherlands clearly tried and almost got away with. Um, so, so, so yeah, we'll see. And we know who our favorites are. I don't want to say anything either, man. I'm just going to pray. I'm just going to sit down there, watch, hope for the best. Um, and uh, just enjoy Messi's last game at the World Cup, man. That's that's really what I want to do. Uh, it, it goes one way or the other, right? Because if Messi wins it, he caps off quite possibly one of the, uh, quite possibly the best career that an individual football player can have. Um, and if France win, you're talking about a player who can eclipse both Messi and Ronaldo. Mbappe, second World Cup competition and will win his second World Cup. Just, it's cool. remarkable when you think about those things, right? <laughs> outrageous, outrageous. But again, I would not put this solely on Mbappe. It's a collective yeah, effort. It definitely. is collective. He has been the star, I mean, in the previous World Cup, but... Not really at this World Cup, to be very, very honest. I mean, this World Cup has to be Griezmann, right? I mean, if Messi, Messi probably goes away with a golden ball, but I would say Griezmann has been a very, very close second to him in terms of the best player of this competition. Or the role that he's played yeah. this World Cup, it's surprising. It just surprised me how 
incredibly he's adapted to all these positions that he has been asked to play and the mix of energy the probably the smartness as well coming in at the right time it's just helping the side out incredible incredible and again finally just a hats off to morocco for an incredible performance they will meet croatia in that uh third place match as well so all the best to them on that if they win that at least that still marks the best finish for any african uh, nation at the world cup and yeah let us know who you think is going to win this competition who is going to claim the glory down in the comments below and uh, yeah please hit like share subscribe it helps a whole lot and we will see you guys next time probably after that right. world cup final <laughs>